man, man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, boy, LD MMAC, man. That, where, where, where am I gonna go with this? One? Oh, I know where I'm going. Okay, you know, Kamar Usman is a hypocrite. Okay, he's a huge hypocrite. Now he's a hypocrite because you know he was asked, you know, hey, you know, because he was talking about moving up to 205, you know, moving up to light heavyweight. And he was saying, yeah, you know, I would do it, you know. And he said, well, and no, they, they asked him, well, what about, you know, facing John Jones? Now, the report is stupid because, you know, damn well John Jones been, you know, preparing himself for heavyweight. So it's not like John Jones is going to just be a matchup. I mean, John's going up for heavyweight. But, you know, let's just say if John Jones didn't like heavyweight and decided to move back down to light heavyweight, you know. So we'll, we'll talk about it in that hypothetical situation. Um he said, well, you know, if the money's right, if the money's right, I mean, me and John Jones, we college friends, you know, we, we college friends, but if that money's right, you know, yeah, I'll do it. But, you know, not just the same man, when they asked him about, you know, possibly moving up to face Israel Adesanya, who, you know, by the way, is the next weight class above his weight class at 185. He said, well, no, he said, that's my brother. You know, I can't fight him for no amount of money. You know, I'm sitting here like, wait a minute, what? You can't fight, dude, for no amount of money? Like, you can't, like, what, what, what's the deal with that? I mean, I, I figured, hey, if the money was right. But see, and I want to take this time, I'm going to tell y'all a story, okay? I used to, uh, when I used to, I used to work with this, this dude from Africa. I worked with him. And um, he would never, like, he would talk to everybody else, right? He would speak to everybody else. And he would, you know, like, court, you know, I don't care if a person don't speak to me at work. Yeah, I don't really care about that. But uh, he would speak to everybody else, and when it was time to collaborate, he would never collaborate with me. He would never, he didn't want to and wouldn't do it. And, you know, I've always come to get this kind of shoulder from people from Africa. And uh, I told the dude, I said, hey, man, you know, we, you know, we got to collab, man, to get this thing done. And he looked at me, he said, you do your thing, I do my thing. And I said... Bro, we're supposed to collaborate on this to get it right. He said, you do your thing, I do my thing. And then he collaborated with everybody else but me. And from that moment forth, I kind of knew that, you know, Africans, they, uh, some of them, they perceive themselves to be a lot higher than American blacks. They perceive themselves, you know, to be, a, a, like, above us. And I kind of picked, I picked up on it. I'm like, oh, okay. So wait a minute, I said, so you think you're too good to work with me, man? Because you think you're better than me? I said, I'm the expert on this particular project. I said, but you think you're better than me? He said, no. He said, he said, no, man, you do your thing, I do my thing. I said, okay. But to make a long story short, man, when this dude, this brother, he got, he got the entire thing wrong, man, and they fired him. They fired him because he didn't want to collab. And this, you know, I was in my like late twenties. You know, they fired him, man, because you know he didn't want to ask me the expert. So he tried to do it his own way, man. And you know, cost the, it cost the, the company we was with, man. It was a uh, made electronic circuit boards, and he cost his company, man, like what, like twenty five thousand dollars for his mistake. And, you know, I tried to tell him, but you know, got fired for it. And when he was leaving, he was packing his stuff up. You know, when he was putting him out of there, man, he was looking at me with these looks. Now I'm looking at him like, dude, this ain't my fault. This is your fault. All you had to do was collaborate with me. But nah, you, you thought you was better than me. And I think that, you know, that this might apply, man. Like, they boys, but they not blood. You know, like, Izzy to him is blood. And if John Jones is African, you know, from Africa, man, he may feel the same way. Nah, that's my brother. You know, but Kamara Usman is a hypocrite, man. He's a hypocrite. And, you know, pretty much, man, I kind of don't follow this guy. I don't support this guy as much as I used to. I don't do it. But, guys, we know what would happen if he moved up to fight John Jones. John Jones would murder this dude. Real talk. <laughs> John Jones would completely murder this guy. And Kamaru got, you know, he got a lot of power. You know, Kamaru Usman, he can crack. The boy can crack. But John Jones would completely destroy this dude on any level. Striking, wrestling. This guy can't out wrestle John Jones. It'll never happen. And anyway, you know, I don't even see, man. I, how can I be cool with uh, Kamaru, man, when Kamaru is, you know, training, helping, you know, uh, Francis Ngannou with his wrestling to fight you? I, nah, nah, man. You ain't my boy. 
you ain't my boy, and the money got to be right for you to fight me, but you won't, but you won't fight Izzy. Ah, oh, stop, stop. Man's a hypocrite, man. Man's a hypocrite. But you know what is he gonna do, man? <laughs> he gonna sit back, gonna beg Dana for another payday? Yeah. He better be. He better be concentrating on Leon Edwards. That's what he better be concentrating on. But but you know what, man? And I'm gonna tell you something about the Leon Edwards fight too. The UFC they're trying really really hard to build this fight up to make it seem like this is gonna be some knockout drag out war. This guys, listen, it's not gonna be a war. Kamaru Usman probably gonna KO this dude and might knock him out in the third round. I feel like Leon Edwards is pretty much tailor made for Usman's style. You know, the guy he's gonna come straight ahead. He's gonna try to engage Usman. Okay, he's gonna try to clinch him. Usman, he don't look strong, man. He's deceptively strong. He's very deceptively strong. Like he's a, he, you know, he reminds you to do, you know, that you grew up with in the hood. He the skinny dude. He that little skinny dude that you wrestle that little skinny dude. That skinny dude could take you and sling you around. Everybody got a little skinny dude in your neighborhood. You know that little skinny dude, man. No matter what you did, you locked up with him. And this dude was hell. That's Kamara Usman. Okay, he deceptively very, very strong. But, <sighs> folks, <laughs> nah. And, and they should, I don't even know why reporters ask fighters these dumb, these dumbass questions, okay? Izzy is, uh, he, he's, he's a welterweight champion, bro. Okay? He's a welterweight champion. Why, why are we asking the welterweight champion about a freaking heavyweight? It just don't make sense, man. They, we got journalists, man. These journalists now, they it's almost like, man, they trying to get the next big story so they can have a... You know, like, if they remind me of the clout chasing the error. These new age, these new young 20-something journalists, these dudes are the worst, man. Like, dude, I, I think I told y'all, I was telling y'all that now in this era, these journalists, you got these young kids, man. They, they print articles, man, with the words and stuff misspelled punctuation all up. Now, I'm not one of those people. I look at context, but you know, I also notice when things are misspelled. You know, if you misspell some stuff, the punctuation off, or you, you, you got the stuff grammatically incorrect, like, that stuff matters when you're a journalist. You mean to say, now, we got journalists now that's making, I'm talking about, they're making these grammatical errors in these big publications. Not like some little mom and pop little article. Like, you know, I, I wrote my first article with, on Toledo Bernardo. And you better believe I checked that thing 10 times for punctuation and grammar just because, just because you have to. But, you know, you guys tell me what you think about this, man. This boy being a hypocrite. I'm done.